Hi everyone, how are you? Welcome to another videos for MRCS. Here the question: A 40 years old man present with pain in his lower back and sciatica for the past three days. He describes bending down to pick up a washing machine when he feels something to go. He now has severe pain radiating from the back down to the right leg. On examination, there is paresthesia over the anterior aspect of the right knee and the medial aspect of his lower leg. Power is intact and the right knee reflex is diminished. The femoral stress test is positive on the right side. Which nerve or nerve root is most likely to be affected? So here, a 40 years old man present with pain in his back for sciatica for past 3 days. He described bending down to pick a washing machine when he felt something go. He now has severe pain radiating from the back to the down. This point is very important on examination. There is paresthesia over the anterior aspect of the right knee and medial aspect of the lower leg. So this uh, two point is very very important that paresthesia along the anterior aspect of the right knee and medial aspect of the lower leg power is intact but knee reflex is diminished so here another point knee reflex is diminished and femoral stress test is positive so this four points is the clue we have to find out which nerve or nerve root is responsible for this clinical fissure here the answer the answer are common peroneal nerve lateral femoral cutaneous nerve or lateral cutaneous nerve of the thigh lumbar 5 nerve lumbar 3 nerve and lumbar 1 nerve so here we can see the sensory area here uh, is the anterior aspect of the thigh and medial aspect of the upper leg so here we can see this is the lumbar 3 nerve which supplies the uh, here up to the anterior aspect of the knee joint and also the medial aspect of some point of the leg so here is the lt on the other hand in the knee reflex we can see knee reflex their nerve root is lumbar 3 and lumbar 4 so there is a common lumbar 3 in both point and here we can see the uh, femoral nerve stress in where lumbar nerve root tension occur that is lumbar 3 lumbar 4 so in this Three places lumbar three is common for all. Patient on prone position, hip extended and knee slightly flexed. Pain may be felt in front of the thigh and the back. And done to exclude higher disc prolapse. So here L3 nerve root compression hooker sensory. And for the L3 nerve root compression, the following picture arises. They are sensory loss over the entry aspect of the thigh or knee. Weak quadriceps reduce knee reflex and positive femoral stress test. So, with the help of this point, our final answer is lumbar 3 root because lumbar 3 root it supplies the uh, sensory innervation in uh, of the anterior aspect of the knee, also the medial aspect of the upper part of the lower leg. And in this case, knee reflex will be diminished because knee reflex here we can see it is lumbar 3, lumbar 4. And femoral stress test also positive which contains all, all lumbar 3. So in the four cases, there are four cases lumbar 3 all always present. So our final answer is lumbar 3 nerve. Thank you all.